Zay Mal, a fan fiction by Faxuida, also has shipping. Okay, we'll be back at midnight from the May Cafe, Caitlin said. Okay, girls, see you later, have no replies. Well, time to call Zane to hang out. About one hour later, the doorbell rings. Oh, there you are, Zane. Well, come on in. The My Little Pony episode, Stairmaster, is about to start. So please, take a seat. I'll make some popcorn, Afmo said. Th thank you for inviting me. Y you really didn't have to watch the video episode with me, Zane said, considerably. After what you did for me at the May Cafe, I really think I need to repay you. So, I thought of My Little Pony episode, Stairmaster would do, Afmo said. Th thank you. Let's watch that episode, Zane replied happily. A couple of minutes later, Zane moved closer to Afmo for very unknown reasons. Um, Afmo, c can I ask you something? Zane asks. Sure, Zane, what is it? Afmo replied. What does it mean to have affectionate feelings for another person? Zane wondered. Oh, you mean when you love someone? Afmo replied. Love? Zane said. No, love, Afmo replied. Oh, say, random question, but what if I, you know, love you? Zane said. Well, um, I don't know. I I guess it would be okay, but the other person would have, the other person would have to have the same feelings, say like a kiss or a confession, like anime, basically. Ah, <sighs> Levi, he's the best ever. I can't wait until he's so. Oh, sorry, Zane. I was talking about something else. But I, I guess. To show your passion, say like a kiss of like love. That's that's how you can show how you really love the person and how you really feel about them. Afma said, so like th th this same luck lips with Afma for about ten minutes. Then he Shyly blushed and turned away. Z Zane, y you c c c kiss me. I have no idea you love me. Afma was shocked. Well, after what you did during the Christmas party and everything else, that kiss on the cheek was was very special to me, and. I just think I had a crush for you after that, Zane replied. Zane, I... You might not have the same feelings. I, I know. But just forgive me. I have you go. Zane, wait! Zane leaves the house. Kind of softly sorry. But I couldn't tell by his sky. Delectable blue eyes. Zane, I'll, I'll talk to him tomorrow. We need to talk. I need to speak to him. After my laying in the bed, unable to sleep, until she heard the doorbell ring. Come in, Afma said. Z -Z Zane, uh, 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 without no words, Zane kissed her again but it was different this time it's like he he was crying like it was saying that forgive him for doing this or forgive him for doing anything bad or anything terrible after a while of kissing Afmo looked into Zane's eyes 
and saw sorrow on his face. And she said, Zane, there's no need to be sorry. Like, there's, there's nothing to be sorry about. Yeah, I, I'll just leave now. There's no way I can top your anime Levi poster. He's perhaps just too good for me. Zane, Levi's not real. Levi has no interest into this right now. Look, I, I don't know how, but I think I love you too. Zane was in shock. I've no, I, with no words. They just softly passed the minutes of the night, peacefully kissing. But Admiral was suddenly realizing, shove the way. Ouch! What was that for? Oh my god! Oh my god! Kaylin and Kawhi Shadow are gonna come soon! And oh, I don't know what that is! Let's keep like this! Let's keep this a secret! Like, uh, like a bunny bully! This is serious! Admiral was really, really worried. Don't, don't worry. Perhaps you can come over my house next time. Perhaps so. Okay. By the way, please leave. It's almost midnight. It's like 11.59. Go! Uh, hey, hey, stop with the pushing. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. But I love you, no? Zane said. <laughs> I love you too, Zane. But go before they come, okay? I I'm gonna go back to sleep. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I really didn't actually think I've ever fallen in love with someone, but I guess God's brother seems exactly fine. You know, I'm not a good friend, Zane. You're not my crush. But, uh, there's no time for that. Come on, g g go. Okay, bye. Bye, Zane. Um, s s see you later. Uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be at your house. Mm -hmm. That was Zane now. And part two will be coming soon, but here's a little short thing about part two. Okay, it's called Love Overcomes All Evil. <clears throat> Let me get my voice ready. What? My baby brother? He's evil. He does not deserve Admiral's love, God said. <sighs> I know, God, but perhaps same was perfect for her. I mean, they both love ponies and the perfect match at the same age. Not said so disappointedly. Oh, come on, guys. This is not that much to worry about. Shut up, Dante. <laughs> Both God and Lord screamed. You don't have to worry about anything. You have no call. <laughs> what? Yeah. Dante, we already know you like Nicole. It's pretty obvious. Yeah. <sighs> Whatever. We don't have time for you. Can you leave already? Well, guys, come on. Just because me and Nicole are chilling and hanging out doesn't mean anything. Still, don't say, leave us alone. And the rest will come to you sooner or later. Okay, guys. This is Foxerita, the creator of Zaymel. And the continuer of the fan fictions. Let's see those people comment and see how well it is. And see if you guys want the part two. But I don't really care about your opinion. I'm going to post part two anyway. And sorry about that, my computer. So, I love you. Hope you love me too. My computer agrees with me throughout this whole entire time. And I'll see you guys later. Zayn Alpha Chips. And peace out. Okay, hmm, what else picture I should use for I love com overcomes evil?